your muse, bring your easel and pencils. Here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another workout vlog. As you can see, I'm with another special guest today. We are doing more hamstring and glute focus today and we're going to be testing out different equipment that we don't normally do or I don't normally do. But yeah, we're just getting started and stretching. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Jordan. I've included her Instagram in there because you guys don't pay attention you guys don't read but yeah we're getting into this workout with stretching and then we started off warming up our booty and hamstrings with this hamstring curl single leg hamstring curl i think we went up to 20 pounds on each side and for sets and reps we did three or four sets with 10 to 15 reps i believe cute dog that came there and of course we had to say hi y'all look at the chain on the dog it was so fucking cute it was so cute look at him, look at him. But yeah, overall, the, I would say this workout was really good and fun. The only thing is, you know, Pure Muscle is a huge gym, which can be super intimidating. I like and don't like it because they have great equipment, but at the same time, they're always moving it. And you guys know I'm the type of person I like to know where everything is and I don't feel this combo belated, you know, so yeah it was a good workout i feel like you know recording and working out working out are two different things i feel like it's kind of harder to go harder while when i'm recording and also another thing that i wanted to say to you guys too which is kind of like a sense of growth in a way is because or you know these past few vlogs that i've been doing with other people or like girls in the fitness industry as well i've really enjoyed it and i feel like i've kind of missed out over the years a little bit trying to avoid because it's so hard these days to find genuine people and nice people you know that are in the industry because just like any other industry there's you know the toxic side and where people there's drama or like people use other people for cloud and just like it's not like i said it's not genuine and um i have had a positive experience you know with working with other girls because i love girls and i love working out with other and i feel like women we have to support each other and not tear each other down 
and yeah i'm just excited to work with other people but at the same time also you know protecting my energy and protecting myself because not everybody is genuine not everybody is um you know some people are selfish some people are only looking out or caring for themselves but yeah i've had a great experience you know jordan is super nice and joelle and tamara too i think those are the only two girls that i've collaborated and my best friend so yeah it's just i'm i'm really excited to see what else is in there in the world i don't know comment down below if you guys know any other toronto fitness girlies that you would want to see me working with but i have a few more in mind that i will be reaching out to that i'm also excited about to you know collaborate with and share this love that we have for fitness with each other and then share it with you guys as well Never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Ho, I got something that I can lend you. Ho, a piece of mind, baby. Come and get a piece of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils. So here you go, you try and tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said I'm tryna keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another Okay, so this machine i wanted to pack up this machine and bring you home with me because the way i was feeling this in my glutes i had seen this on tiktok and i was like i have to try this exercise it's so good it you literally see after doing after the first set my glutes were pumping and juicing and looking scrum delicious okay just watch but yeah this was a great machine for the booty it was mm, chef kiss yeah. i know you feel me oh i know you feel me yeah 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 whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I, know you feel me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like one thing too that i noticed in this video i feel like jordan is giving very you know like a you know that show Wednesday and then the other girl? I forgot who the other person is. I feel like I'm like the black cat's energy or like the mean one, kind of. But not really mean at the same time. I don't know. I have black cat energy, I feel. And then Jordan's giving all cute Barbie energy. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. But yeah, this workout, ooh, this machine, you guys, look at it. Look at the pump I'm getting in my glutes and in my quads. Also, I'm so happy. I've been putting extra work into my quads because I've been really liking the look of, you know, big quads. It's, it's just hard because my calves, I've been super struggling. Also, watch, keep watching in this uh, video. You're going to see at the end a different calf machine that we ended up doing, which was great. But anyways yeah i've been really getting into the look of big quads and i've been seeing and feeling the results you know i've been really putting in work you guys I don't feel
Okay, so next we wanted to do an RDL variation. This I was 50-50 on because obviously, you know, an exercise that you don't do on the normal or on the regular, it's going to feel weird. It's going to feel awkward. Um, I was okay with it because of the, just because of the hand grips, it was really slippery. And here I have the, we both have our straps on to help with the grip. It wasn't bad, but you can feel it definitely more in your glutes than you would, let's say, a barbell um, deadlift. Because when I do barbell deadlifts, I always feel it in my hamstrings and in my glutes. But this one, I was really feeling it in my glutes, which is not bad. It was pretty good. And I feel like when I'm doing a deadlift, I can do, you know, the two plates and a plate. This one was definitely hard. I, it might just be because of the grip, but it was definitely hard to kind of pull the weight. But it was a good one, too. Yeah, it was nice. Okay, and next we had this kind of leg press contraption. Don't ask me the name of this. I did not look. I it, It's pretty much a leg press, but it's kind of your legs, your toes are pointed outwards. And you can definitely feel it in your groin and glute um, area. But I was definitely feeling more of a stretch in my groin. This was, we were joking about this. It was kind of like preparing us for childbirth because honestly the way that you'd be opening splitting open your legs was pretty much how it felt for this is yeah childbirth <laughs>
and honestly at this point because we took somebody was using this machine and we took like a 20 minute break taking selfies which by the way if you're watching this vlog i posted a fire we both posted fire pictures actually on our instagram so make sure you guys go show some love on it on our posts you know go come say hi but yeah we were already cooled down which was hard because we couldn't really go higher or heavier the window from the star for a sign it's the reason why this was the cap machine that i was telling you about i've always seen people also do this online i really wish this machine i had at my gym because you guys know in my last vlog we were talking about my caps and how hard it is for me to grow my calves and how my glutes automatically take the weight without me even trying and this obviously because you're not standing up fully straight you literally your lower body is what's doing the work and my glutes didn't contract when i was doing this the only problem with this is keeping in mind that you have to brace and flex your core but yeah that was literally the only thing and yeah oh, i'm so sad i wish i had this machine and we were just joking about you know the faces because you're bent over it's kind of a weird position <laughs> you know just like what it looks like when you're anyways we're not even gonna talk about that <laughs> I definitely felt weird there was an adjustment but it you really felt it in your calves for sure like it was it was yeah i actually wish i did more but i didn't <laughs> Yeah, you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to comment other fitness girlies in toronto that you'd want to see me working with and i will see you guys in my next video bye